Hey guys, it's Michael Todd and welcome to The Cult of Vintage. Today we are at Roller Mills in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania. You know the routine. It's one of my most favorite places. I'm going to keep it short. The parking lot is jammed, packed. We're going to do our best to film. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Here we go, guys. Like, this is a parking lot over here for the antique mall. Over here is the antique mall parking. Here's the big old barn. Let's get inside. Well, let's not get hit. We're going to wait for this car to go by first. Alrighty, guys. Here we go. Let's see what treasures, if any, of course, we can find. Okay, I have no idea what is going on, but when I say it is busy, I mean it is busy to the point where I'm having to face this wall just so I can try to get some footage <laughs> at this point. There's people everywhere, which is great. It is great for the business, but um, I'm going to try to figure this out. I don't know that I've ever been in an antique mall where it's been this busy and the aisles are narrow. So... Um, it's gonna be an adventure, to say the very least. All right, check out this suspicious little fellow here. Ooh, look at those beady eyes. He is a readier abbot for 59 with his little corduroy pants on. He is polyfilled, but he's super cute. If he was far cheaper, I would definitely pick him up, but c'est la vie. No, why do I have to see such cute things and it's only $28 and he's just, he's, Lived a life, bless him. Uh, he's a. So <laughs> How cute is he, you guys? Oh, it's a hard handle. I don't know. Let's see what it says. Oh, it's from Sears and Roebuck. He's obviously missing his tail, and he even had. Oh my gosh, you can steer it. He's missing a. Stirrup, it seems. Oh, he's got some weight on him. This is amazing. I love it. Over here, we've got an old camera. I know somebody that might be a magic lantern that might be interested in this one. Box is below. Below here? No. Maybe this is the box. Is this the box for Magic Mirror? I bet it is. Hmm. Let's take a picture and see what he thinks, Mr. Richard. This is a pleasant surprise. You usually come in here for the vintage jewelry, but we have some glass in here today. I, I'm definitely down for these kind of surprises. Now we've got an Empolia at 65. Oh, this one looks like, yeah, an Ellie Smith at 35. Another Viking here at 35. 35 is a popular number. Some Monax glass. Here's a Viking candy dish. Oh, Ellie Smith is the... Okay, Ellie Smith <laughs> at 55. There is a sale, but those aren't priced for me. That's okay. Let's see if there's any jewelry here maybe that we will pick up. Oh, I don't really see anything. It's really calling my name. So, pleasant surprise though on those. What's this? A little milk glass. Hmm. All right, we'll see what else we can find, guys. Well, I, there's my answer. Holiday open house. So there's a bunch of sales going on right now. Now we know. And uh, people are definitely taking advantage of it, that's for sure. Let's see what else we can find, guys. All right, guys. Well, ooh, I did spot something down here. It is this old little Mickey rag doll. What is going on here? He's got a whole lot of elastic. Sir, what is what is the deal? Is he being held together by elastic? Or maybe these are his suspenders. That's what they are. Oh, he's missing an arm, too. Bless him. He's lived a, a tough life. His knees are, again, bless. Um, 25, oh, given the condition, we're gonna have to leave him behind. This is interesting, this little candlestick holder. Mm, it's more of a contemporary, oh, it's handcrafted in Italy, $9. That's cute, but mm, we'll leave that one. Poor Mickey. Well, guys, I gotta admit, I'm feeling a little overwhelmed.
overwhelmed by the amount of people um, that are in here. It, it really is exceptionally difficult to film. Um, so I, this isn't the most exciting or dynamic. Here we've got a little Fisher Price juggling jumbo who is as is, bless. I think he had balls that would go up through his snout, but he's had a better day. It's, it's the land of misfit toys here today. Alrighty guys, we are in one of my most favorite booths. We're going to check around here, see if we can't, one, find anything new, and two, take advantage of the sale. We're at 15% off in here. Got some pretty, ooh, look at that. Antique green opalescent swirl bowl. That one's pretty. I wonder if it glows. What do you think? We do have the flashlight. You want to test it out? Let's try it. Okay, the moment of truth. No glow, just a pretty piece of green opalescent glass. Oh well. Um, while it is very pretty, I'm not really seeing anything else new such as life um no the, no no all right well we'll see if we can't find something somewhere else well, we got a booth full of goodies in here. I don't know if there's any goodies for us. What do we got going on here? By sheer pluck. War. It's war. Hmm. Ooh, a little smoking table here. This one's cute. Let's see. It should be, yep, copper lined. That one's nice. I don't think, is it pedestal with this? Um, turn the humidor smoking stand. Oh, I think it is. That one's pretty nifty. No, I don't think it is. No, this is separate. It's got little nubby feet down here. Okay. Some Fisher Price. Oh, I see a catalog down here. Who is this? Sears? Sears 1993. Oh my goodness, can you imagine? I wonder how much they're asking for this. Don't know. Um, twenty dollars. These things are quite collectible. Keep your eye out for them. Okay, so this I'm gonna snatch up. It's only eight dollars. It is the double glow foil tree top. This will make an amazing craft project for one of the um, aluminum reflectors flowers that I have been doing so we're gonna make a big old flower with this guy here so I'm excited about that one okay guys so I am finding some oh the keys here so I am finding some little bakelite and I'm really digging how much is this so we've got 32 they haven't marked it as lucite that's totally is that Let me say. Um, I don't know. I. What do you guys think? I don't think it is Bakelite. Do you see those circles right there? It's definitely vintage with that backing. I. It doesn't. I try to heat it up. It doesn't have an. Oh, sorry. It doesn't have an ammonia cell. So I'm smell. I'm gonna not take the risk and leave that one behind. Oh, I hope I'm not making a mistake. Alrighty guys, here we've got some pretty glass. I love this one. We've got persimmon amber. That's an unusual sculpt to it. That one is only $24.99 and we do have another 15% off. So that's a think about. Oh, look at that. We've got another Tiffin bowl here. That's pretty schmancy, that one. Uh, Richard actually has two of these, one with, one without. Um, the gold detailing on it. I don't know. I think we're going to get this one. I like this. It's an unusual sculpt. That's for sure. It's almost like a chalice, if you will. And it, whoa. Look at that tackiness. 
bottle brush on about 55 and it's original vintage glory oh my word that's pretty gosh darn epic now there is 15 percent off of it i will say this i've actually um bought in some of these in the past and they've not done that well so i'm hesitant to want to pick up another piece and i'm trying not to let my own tacky heart take me away uh i love it but i'm gonna leave it behind even with the sale you guys look at this beautiful victorian ornament it's in such good condition there is no way we are going to be able to leave that one behind the netting is still in play oh my gosh it's only 16 dollars. it doesn't appear that this vendor no has a sale but i still think that condition like that it's well worth it so we're going to snatch that one up for sure you guys check out all of this kitschy christmas these guys right here we are totally going to go for them it is a set of five for 24 dollars. that is insane these guys are very difficult to get um, I've had one of these before, but it was, um, he was all white. I've never had the ones that were painted. So that's an excellent steal. I'm excited about that. And there's 20% off. So that's exciting. We've got some Holt Howard knockoffs here. You see the blue is painted over the green. Yeah, they're nondescript. We're checking underneath with each other here. Um don't see anything else in here i mean this is cool to see but meh. um 75 the relco in its original packaging a very sad little doll in there chilling living her life um but yeah we're definitely gonna get these guys especially with that discount very excited even got skulls and there's just a little song song saying you can totally own it and buy it and sell it just in case you're in the market for a human skull there is one here it can be yours for 1500 now we do have a little austrian bisque mermaid here there's some yellowing i'm curious to see if that's um been repaired glue we'll get in here and find out well it turns out it's not actually been repaired it's just like a little bit of yellowed paint now this is actually a japan one i thought it was austrian or german but little magic sponge she'll clean up 22 that's actually a gosh darn good deal on her so we're gonna snatch her too Alrighty, guys well here we have some more christmas i found some good stuff in here before i don't know really oh i just found a smaller set of these bells with the aluminum foil wrapped on them um, some little stuff nothing's like overly wowing me oh we've got a whole howard little foil angel here she's at 24 with the mesh mm, not overly excited about this one i've had oh my gosh this one's cute i've never spotted this one before she's 22 that's not bad is there a sale in here don't think there's a sale 22 is going to be a little steep on her such is life santa and the lost little kitten a fuzzy wuzzy looks like there's a pretty substantial tear here Ooh, image on the inside's nice and bright what do you want 20 not with the tear on it so we're gonna leave that one behind mm. yikes don't know how i feel about you but uh He's definitely had some cookies, that's for sure. These are cool, you guys. These are actually the Ashton Drake um, Jean Marshall. It was designed by Mel Odom. I mean, this is a super popular uh, doll collection back in the day, but 90s. Um, a lot of the fashion packs actually go for a good bit. That's a look, that's for sure, the gold that we got back here. The Midnight Angel. I don't know how you feel about that one. Now this forget-me-not, I think I'm gonna pick this one up. This one is tempting. The pink outfit, hmm. I actually do have 
a jean. This one's interesting. Um, this one for sure. This one. Um, I think we can leave that one, but we'll get forget me not. Oh, alrighty guys, well there you have today's shop with me adventure. It was a little bumpy. Um, there was probably more people in an antique mall than I have ever seen in my life, which is absolutely amazing, but uh, it definitely proved to be challenging to uh, shoot a video. So guys, I hope that you did enjoy yourself. I'm really praying that the video footage came out good enough. We're gonna find out. Um, you guys let me know down in the comments what your favorite find of the day is or the item you wished I had most picked up. Either works and I'd of course appreciate it. And until next time you guys, remember, keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty. Bye guys.